I'd like to talk with you today about one of my favorite topics, bone grafting. When patients lose teeth, the bone that used to hold the tooth in the jaw dissolves. That happens whether or not we're talking about one tooth or their entire mouth. I'd like to show you a model of a lower jaw. And this is what happens when patients lose their teeth. When the teeth are in place, the jaw has this dimension. But without the stimulation of the teeth, the jaw gets shorter and more narrow. So the sooner we can do something about replacing the bone that's lost, the better the patient will be. This is also true if somebody's going to lose one tooth. If they have to lose a tooth because of decay or fracture, in today's world, what we do is we try to build bone at the same time the tooth comes out. Without that, the bone in the individual area resorbs. This bone grafting is made much more simple today because we don't have to go to the hip, we don't have to go to other parts of their mouth. I have the ability to open a jar of bone, a little bottle of bone, and we mix it with different growth factors and they're able to get the bone regeneration that would have otherwise resulted in a very, very narrow ridge. In order to find out about this, please visit our website on bone grafting and regeneration and you'll find that this is a very simple, very predictable, and very painless procedure. Thank you.